In this Excel lesson, I want to cover charting. Uh, fast, easy lesson. Charting really doesn't need to be complicated uh, when you're using Excel. There's just a few things that you need to remember. So here, I've got a situation where I have four stores, and in those stores, I sell four items. Now, I would want some totals here. So for shoes, all together, in all my stores, I want to know how many shoes I'm selling. So I'm using the function wizard here, and it's adding all of those so that those are my sales for shoes and for shirts and for pants and for hats and I also want totals for the East store so the East store sold 67 all right so let's assume that this is all in dollar figures great all right so on a given day those are my sales so now I want to chart some of this information. When you're charting, you need to, first of all, know what it is you want to chart. So if I want to chart and compare my items that I'm selling, I would need to select the titles and the totals, right? So your control key will allow you to select another area after you've selected your first. So the steps would be first select your labels okay so your titles and then your totals if you can remember titles and totals when charting in excel it's going to make your life that much simpler titles and totals so i've got the titles and i've got the totals so now i can create a nice chart that will show me how my sales and categories are are doing compared to one another you would go to insert and now you can choose from a variety of charts column pie and bar being the most popular so here because I'm comparing items I would probably use a pie chart and you can use a broken 3d pie chart which is very nice and because I selected my titles and my totals it's inserted my titles and my totals and you can easily add things to your chart so now rather than a legend I've placed the percentages and the labels in the appropriate place and I added a title. So you have different color options. You have other options in here about the type of chart. I'm not going to go over all of the different um, choices you have. You can be here for a long time, but I, I choose not to do that. You can explore through here all of your different options so that you can customize your chart. The, uh, the other important thing that I, I believe you need to know is you can leave your chart right here on this sheet or you can move it so that it becomes its own sheet okay so now it's no longer on that sheet it's alone here on a brand new sheet called chart one now if I want to chart my stores and compare them to one another Again, the rule is titles and totals. So my titles are here and my totals for those stores are down here. So again, right now I'm going to put down my control key and that allowed me to select my first selection and it added this selection. So titles and totals only. And now I would go to insert. I can use a bar or a column chart. I can use a nice three dimensional bar chart and it's going to drop it in very nicely and because i had my titles and my totals my titles automatically dropped into my chart and now i have a nice chart displaying the fact that my north store is the strongest followed by my east and then south and west following behind i have a legend here that i probably don't need and i can delete that so i'm just clicking on it and deleting and of course you've got more choices for colors etc so if you wanted to change that, you can. And once again, if you wanted to change the location, you could. You could give it its own sheet or you can leave it here. You can move it. You can size it this way. So there's a very simple, fast and easy lesson on charting. The main thing you need to remember is you need the titles and the totals. Leave everything else alone.
Okay, typically you don't want to chart every single little thing. The idea behind the chart is to give you a quick glance at the data, right? It gives you a, a visual representation of the data that you can look at quickly and briefly and get the gist of what's happening.